Hey guys, Janine here from Janine's Gluten-Free Kitchen where we make recipes that are all gluten-free, dairy-free and super scrumdiddlyumptious. And today we're going to be focusing on the humble barbecue which we absolutely love in Australia. It features very much in many of our gatherings uh, and today it's going to be a Middle Eastern inspired barbecue lamb. So please stick around, I'm looking forward to sharing this very traditional recipe with you. If you've seen our recipes before, well welcome back. But if you're new and you've never seen our channel before, welcome and we highly recommend that you take the opportunity to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss our recipes going forward. But today we're going to be making a gorgeous barbecue lamb and I've started with a lamb shoulder. Now this is half a shoulder because I've already cooked the other half and I will show you that later. Um, but we're going to start with a half because there's only a couple of us in the house but you use the whole shoulder if you want to feed a big family. Alright so we've got our lamb and the first thing we want to do is marinate it. Super important process and we want it to marinate for as long as possible because we want to get those flavours deeply infused with the meat and actually the marinade also tenderises the meat. So Middle Eastern flavours, let's start. We have some sumac, beautiful uh, citric tones. We have some barat or Middle Eastern mixed spice. Now don't forget the recipe is in the uh, description down below. We have some sweet paprika. Now I have garlic powder and the reason why I'm using garlic powder over fresh garlic is because fresh garlic does tend to burn a little on the barbecue. It does give a nicer taste but it does burn a little bit. So I'm just using powder for today. We also have some uh, dried cumin seeds that have been um, powdered. Same with the coriander, also powdered seeds, dried. Pe black pepper, ground. Um, it is better fine for this rather than coarse. Now salt is optional and you just do it to taste. I don't use a lot of salt, maybe just a little pinch. And we've got some nice Celtic sea salt there. Now, lemon juice is very, very important. It is one of the main things that will um, make your meat super tender. So I'm going to use the juice of two lemons. Let's give that a little squeeze with my trusty lemon squeezer that I love so. Oops. Got a seed in there. Now, the recipe in the description is for a whole lamb shoulder. Yummy, yummy. I don't know about you, but cooked lamb with lemon juice is really good. Okay. And then the final ingredient is some nice olive oil. All right. Now, give that a good stir through. And mm, you can already get a sense of what the meat's going to taste like. Okay, a little hint for you. Tip for you. You can use this marinade on any meat and it's particularly good with chicken too. Barbecue chicken or baked. All right, once we've got our marinade all mixed through, we're going to throw our lamb in and get dirty. Give that a good coating. Don't want to miss any surface. Now, the, the uh, trick to marinating any meat is the time that you leave it on. Ideally, overnight. 
And I have even been known to freeze a meat like this with the marinade on it because the flavours infuse even more. So yeah, you can freeze it. But at least overnight, uh, sorry, um, overnight is great, but at least an hour or two. Now, you don't have to mix it by hand, but it does ensure that you get all the flavours in the little crevices as these butterfly pieces often have. And let's throw that in the fridge to marinate. Hey guys, so that's been marinating for about three hours. And what we wanna do now is we wanna seal it on the barbecue, get your barbecue really, really hot um, on the grill side and throw this on for one minute either side and then turn it down as low as you possibly can and then transfer your meat into one of the, you know, a tray, any tray, it doesn't really matter, and you're gonna close it and let it um, just slowly barbecue for as long as you can. Like, the thing about lamb is you can't really overdo it. I've known people to cook it for 12 hours and it's just been melt in your mouth, super, super juicy, super um, soft. But you don't have to do it that long. You can equally do it for sort of three or four hours and, and the um, taste would be incredible. So our lamb has been cooking now for a couple of hours. Let's check it out. Oh, yum. And you can see it's really, oh, it's really caramelizing, but it hasn't quite gotten to that point of super tender yet. So I'm just gonna move it into the slightly cooler section of the barbecue. And we'll come back in a couple more hours. Hey guys, so it has been now three hours. So in total, this has been another hour since we last had a look at the meat. And um, you can see it's already really juicy and tender. So um, because it's such a small piece, we probably don't need to leave it any longer. Three hours is fine. You could, if you look, our barbecue doesn't go any lower than that. And so I'm a little concerned about leaving it out too long, um, but I'm gonna take that in because that looks really good to me. Wow, so can I tell you, this meat smells amazing. It really does. This is a big peak, isn't it? Let's get something better than that. Let's cut this little baby and see what we've got. So what's really nice about this is it's got a very sort of um, skin and fat layer at the top, which is actually crisped up really crispy. I don't know if you can see that. It's almost like crackling. It's, oh my God, yum. Wow, and then the meat is just so tender. Look at that, just falling apart. Oh my God, it's so good. I need to taste it. Yum, so good. You know, the thing I love about lamb is that it has a decent amount of fat in it. So it never really dries out. It is so delicious. Let's take that away. Yum. Now I just wanna cut a little bit of that. Sorry guys, skin off. Put a little sprinkle of parsley to serve it and some oil, which I've got just there. <laughs> nice. And you know what? This is a perfect little dish to serve with our fatouche salad that we made just recently. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'm gonna serve it with that because it will be a perfect accompaniment. And maybe a wedge or two of lemon. 
Hakuza. There we go. Gorgeous, scrum diddly umptious, Middle Eastern barbecue lamb slow. Now, if you don't have a barbecue and you wanna make this beautiful meal just in your oven, super easy. All you're gonna do is put your oven on really hot to about 220 or four, four what is that, Fahrenheit? You know what, I'll look it up and let you know. 220 degrees Celsius and that marinated piece of lamb put it in a baking dish throw it in for like five minutes to get really seared and hot and then turn down your oven to about 140 and let it bake for a good oh I don't know let's say three hours as well and just before you serve it put it under the grill and that way you'll get that crispy skin I wouldn't recommend you put it under the grill if you don't have that skin flap, but if you do, you'll get this beautiful crispiness, deliciousness, and you'll be rare, easy to go. And that will be it. Awesome, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. We're going to have some lunch now. See ya. Today we are doing a beautiful Middle Eastern barbecue lamb, the no. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Smoky flavours at night. Repeating myself. <laughs> um, I come back. Barbecue is the hump up. Uh, when why? Nope. <laughs> Juicy, beautiful. No, see, I didn't want to do that. Why did I do that? <laughs> Welcome guys, Janine here from Janine's Gluten-Free Kitchen, where we do things... Hey guys, welcome to Janine from Janine. So if you've seen our recipes before, you'll be very familiar with all our great... No. I know. I'm all nervous. This is ridiculous. It's been ages since I've done it. All right. 